Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Matthew 6, 1 through 4 this morning. Take heed that you do not do your alms, or gifts of charity, before men to be seen of them. Otherwise you have no reward of your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do your alms, don't sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do alms, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your alms may be in secret, and your Father which sees in secret will reward you openly. I wonder how many people who think they sent their reward ahead of them will get there and find a small pile when they expected a big heap. I know a person who gave away a very expensive gift and then shared it with the church. I don't know their intent. I, I hope it was to be encouraging. I wonder if they even considered the idea of treasures in heaven. Not sure. But I know that their reward is not in heaven. Their reward is in the paltry and fading accolades of mere humans, most of whom have long forgotten the magnanimous gift and most likely the one who gave it. But God never forgets. It says, Your Father which sees in secret himself shall reward you openly. I've tipped my hand on a few occasions, kind of let slip where that gift came from. That was a long time ago. I've learned since then to mostly quietly do what needs to be done and let God sort out the reward thing. There's joy in that. There's a sense of doing something just to please Father, and Father never blinks. So even though, even though there are times to feed people, and you can't keep that secret, there are other times to anonymously help people and let God be the only one you, who sees you caring. And you'll see how kind you really are. And if you do, there will be a joy you will experience that is a reward in itself. One man that I knew a number of years ago uh, found out that his nephew wanted a certain Christmas present. And he bought it in the store, had it delivered anonymously from Santa Claus. And on Christmas morning, as that young man opened up that present, that man tells me that he had the most joyful sense of giving that he'd ever had. How about you? Are you willing to give something away, do something good for other people, and not be noticed? You ponder that, Pastor Steve.